If you're a teacher or you work in an educational organization and you want to move to Canada then this video is for you. Music. Hi everyone if you're new here welcome and for returning viewers I say big welcome back to you thank you very much for all your support on this channel I appreciate you one of the beautiful aspects about teaching in Canada is that there are numerous educational institutions and job opportunities to teach children and adults of valuable skills the three top provinces to work in. Canada as a teacher are Ontario, Alberta and Saskatchewan and Canada provinces and territorial governments operate their own schooling systems and they are responsible for regulating teaching jobs in Canada. Although there are similar rules across the country there are few local differences and that depends on the provinces or territories that one wish to migrate to. And so here in this video I will share complete requirements that you need to move to Canada as a teacher teacher certifications needed to apply for this process where you can get the certifications from how much each or the certification is what your approach should be after getting your certification likes or license as a teacher where to apply for teaching jobs and how much teachers can be paid in Canada and then other valuable or important documents and requirements that you would need as you watch please do well. Many people that's the way you can even help them if you don't have finance to do that subscribe if you're new here and say thank you very much for doing that and she's showing me support and then turn on your post notifications so that you get updated when I post new videos as to how to migrate abroad thank you teachers are considered as skilled workers in Canada yes some people might be thinking for federal skilled workers to moving to Canada the first one is the highest level of education that you have the second is your work experience then you your overall adaptability all right and your current state of employment and so if you're applied to Canada or to move to Canada as a teacher you can also apply through a provincial nominee program or a PNP for a guaranteed invitation to Canada if you are actually fortunate and nominated by a province. So what are some of the education level that you require to become a teacher? In education that's mostly likely what people call the your bed certification or certificate the second thing you need to show is a two years teachers college course all right which shows that your special visualize in a related field like social workers children's study psychology or any educational related field and then for how much salary that you'll be paid as a teacher in Canada please note that your average salary as a teacher will likely depend on the province you move to and the field you specialize in you most likely to be hired firstly in a temporary contract and then after some few months or year of experiences you'll be given a permanent contract to be a teacher in Canada so for example some provinces can pay anywhere around $24 to $29 Canadian dollars 26 to 29 dollars that's Canadian dollars per hour then private tutors in all provinces are also paid higher okay so each province has their own specialization and category when it comes to salary payments now so look let's look at some steps to follow if you're already a teacher in your home country and you want to migrate to Canada as a teacher and you also wish to apply to teach in can't use most of your license from your home country to actually teach in Canada right so you need to take about a six months course to actually have applied to become a teacher in Canada so after which you'll be hired as a teacher in Canada however for most teachers who have completed their teacher education program you just need to complete just like a certification course and this is depending on your chosen province that you have a chosen to move to in Canada for example what is obtainable in the Alberta is different for what is obtainable in Ontario, and then Saskatchewan all right unlike the other ones too so let's take for instance to teach in Ontario public schools a teacher must be certified by Ontario College of Teachers and so as a licensed teacher you usually need a credential to actually qualify you to teach either a specific grade level or a certain subject matter okay at different levels in the school. 170 Canadian dollars so please take notes okay also for a provincial teaching certification in Canada you will need to have at least two years completed bachelor's degree which you have already said and a student teaching course before applying for a certificate to your department of education or teachers college in your own chosen province also to know that this can also be gotten or obtained from your own home country so for people that have not gotten their teaching license this information I just gave is for you 
So but you have gotten a teaching license you just have few things a few certification to do before you move to Canada so please take notes now let's look at credentials transcripts of your credentials will be will need evaluations but not with the regular West as West that people use for PR all right so if you're applying as a teacher for example to Ontario your transcripts can be sent to the College of Teachers which is called OCT in Ontario right so you just need to do what you need to do is just to instruct your university and they will arrange for how it can can be sent the transcript can be sent directly to old city for evaluation before you move as a teacher to canada all right so the cost for sending your transcript to a oct that's the place the teachers college in ontario costs around 762 canadian dollars all right so it may also be required to pass the teacher's certification exam Probably later when you're done sending all your uh, credentials you need to provide also a language proficiency test which is your IELTS okay and so please note that the IELTS that you need to be writing is not IELTS in general but IELTS academic test you also need to score a minimum of CLB 74 that is Ontario province so other province might have their own benchmark but for Ontario I know it's CLB 7. So please note that the IELTS general is not accepted if you're actually going to move to Canada as the teacher ought to become a Canadian teacher you also need a math proficiency test which can be completed online okay you will need to have your PR status for Canada to apply you cannot apply as a teacher on a work or student permit in Canada also to notice that you'll be interviewed over multiple rounds okay so that is where you have to talk about your past teaching experiences to prove that you have some experience your some teaching experiences while well, before you want to move to Canada okay so you also need a police a character or police check letter you also need to have some training or teaching course for example at George Brown College in Toronto also to notice that the teachers program differs in each proving so what you have in this pro province is different from what you have in the other programs so you need to have actually uh, take out your time to make your research and then find out what is obtainable in the province that you want to move to as a teacher so now that you have your teaching certification to become a teacher in Canada what next now let's look at your approach on how to find teaching jobs in Canada. Canada like in most countries are more stress free and they offer more job security whereas well the private teaching jobs the reverse is the case so when you try to look for job and busy in the busy centers in Ontario and you don't find one please also try to check out the developing rural areas in the same province for example like in Ontario where getting a teaching job is much easier. Acts is there a demand for teachers to come to Canada or is Canada looking for teachers? Yes, there is surely a demand for teachers uh, for teachers to come to Canada. Canada is in need of teachers. Teachers and special educators are among the top on demand jobs in Canada. And so you need to know that education is really important in Canada. Just like just as the healthcare field, please note that the time frame of processing teaching license differs by province. Okay, so what's sustainable in Ontario is different from what you get from learning for Saskatchewan and the other one is also going to be different from Alberta so for more information on all of this that I've shared please see all the links in the description box of this video also do your due diligence actually make your own research at your free time before starting your application so like this video all right share with many people that need this information Subscribe if you're new here and click on the post notification or turn on your post notification to get updated when I post up new videos on how to migrate abroad. Thank you very much for watching to the very end and I will see you in my next video. I wish you the very best in your migration journey. Keep.